Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about null comparison. Okay, so equality comparison of a null results in null. That's what we studied in the last tutorial. So if you're going to compare a null using equal to sign or not equal to sign with a value, or you're going to compare a value with a null using these signs, then the comparison will always result in null because null is not comparable with any value. If you try to do any comparison using normal si uh, comparison operators, the result will always be null. So, how is that a problem? That's a problem because row is only selected for display if the where clause results in true. Okay? So, row is not selected for display if the where clause results in either false or null. So, if you compare any value with a null using these operators like equal to sign or not equal to sign the uh, this whole comparison will result in null and the whole where clause will result in null as, as, a, as a as a result so uh, the row will not be selected for display okay uh, so the where clause will result in null uh, if this this is the only comparison in that where clause otherwise if we are using or condition then uh, if you're using more than one comparison separated by or then uh, the where clause could still result in true okay so but as a whole you don't want to uh, uh, have any comparison results in null because that could uh, cause unexpected results so what's the solution solution is whenever you want to compare a null you have to use these op uh, these comparison operators is null or is not null a, a co proper comparison operators that are available to compare a value with a null so is null and is not null are special comparison operators available to compare a value with a null okay so this is the wrong way on the left side this box is showing the wrong way of com comparing a value with a null on the right hand side this is the proper way of comparing a value with a null so instead of using equal to sign use is null operator instead of using not equal to sign with null use is not operator okay so since a null is not equal to the other null okay so that's why equal to sign cannot be used so if you want to say if if a value in x is null if that's what you want to say then you have to use is null okay because it is a difference between equal to null and is null so on the left hand side uh, if you use these comparison equal to null or not equal to null then the comparison uh, will always result in null okay on the right hand side this comparison will either result in true or false so that's what you want that's what you want in the where clause all the uh, conditions that you have placed in the where clause should either result in true or false you don't want any null in the equation okay because that will throw off uh, the results unless you really know what you're doing so having said that uh, I'm going to show you some example how to use is null and is not null comparison operators so let me go to uh, my Oracle Express okay so I'm al already logged in so this is what we have in uh, the table employee select star from employee and this is what we have in employee table so as you can see for ID number six the salary information is not available okay and so if you if we want to query all those records where salary information is not available the wrong way of doing this would be where select star from employee where salary equal to null okay this is not going to bring the desired result so i just ran this equation no data file the proper way of doing is where salary is not is null okay i'm just running this statement as as, as you can see uh, Oracle has displayed record number six because salary is null there. So if you want to see all the information where salary is not null, that means salary has been defined, then you can simply say where salary is not null. So is null and is not null is a proper way of dealing with nulls. Instead of using equal to and not equal to sign, use is and is not uh, operators. So as you can see, Oracle has displayed all the records where salary information is uh, available. So let's see. Uh, let's say if you want to see all those records where uh, previous salary is not defined so we're going to say where pre previous salary is null 
so I just ran this uh, statement and you can see the rec record number 6 is displayed again and where previous salary is null and where current salary or salary is null so we have asked Oracle to bring all those records where previous salary and current salary both are uh, null so as you can see the result have been displayed so that's all I wanted to show you the use of null uh, is null and is not null comparisons uh, in this tutorial. I see you in the next tutorial.